previously on Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition. Breaking the cycle left the boot campers feeling raw. I saw him get shot in the face. A boy touched you? He did more than just touch me. The FaceTime situation exploded between Mo and Carl. What you're not gonna do is like sit here and instigate Liar. Close no door on me. And Nia came face to face with Soldier's problem child. Tonight, the couples face a difficult challenge. Oh my God. We going to die in that bitch. What if we told you that you didn't have to? It was about sacrifice. You would rather protect your image and hurt her? Damn. The VIP room is closed. You act like a bitch, not a boss. Five hip hop couples struggling to survive. They don't know how inconsistent your ass is. Count, count, boy. Whoa! Dr. Rish and Dr. V are their last shots. Look like to me you were having one of them side piece conversations. You disrespecting me. Learn how to talk to me. Once you got with me, your life has leveled up. She needs to be controlled. I can beat your ass. Sometimes I feel like this relationship is over. You keep blaming me for the past. Will they level up? Just feel like I gave up. Or wreck it all. He could be sleeping next to the devil and not even know it. <laughs> Let me go home. This is Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. You all right? Mm -hmm. Want to talk to me? No. I don't know. Why you in the other bed for? Yeah, I'm the phone. I'm hurt. I'm mad as bruh. My girl breaking up with me, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I ain't got time to be talking and all this Since you don't want to be with me, I ain't got to say to you, I'm mad. You're probably going to be showing the embarrassing of me. I don't even came here. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're past that. No, we're not past that. Oh, okay. I'm just getting pissed off because now you're purposely, just, you're just going to keep going when I'm agreeing to not speak to you anymore. And then you want to keep snapping at me. I feel like I'm fed up too. Let me fed up and If I, if I, I can say what I want to say. Leave me alone. Bro, who you talking to? Hands on her cell phone, ignoring me. So I'm going to assume sneak going on. I'm never We in this together, so I was ready to beat Soldier ass if I had to. I really can't even think straight right now to tell them exactly what just happened, play by play. Like my adrenaline is like I'm out of breath. He hasn't changed, and it just takes any little thing for him to snap. I can just go. Okay. I think Soldier Boy and Nia's biggest obstacle is them just being able to agree to disagree. You know, it's always like a chaotic battle. It's like, rah, 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 rah. it's like two dogs barking at each other. <laughs> Damn, I done up. If you just broke up with your boyfriend, no, he's not OK, my He's hurt. He's sad. Like, what the is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? So he kept aggravating me. <laughs> I'm worried about Nia right now. I'm praying for her. Hopefully, they can try and work things out again and again and
having this conversation with Flocka and then Tammy, they're starting to see that she antagonizing me. She with me. She poking at me. You know what I'm saying? Basically, they're just telling me to just like stick it out. I look at Nia and I just feel for her because that was me. Like, seeing her in this relationship, that is dysfunctional, that is unhealthy, that is scary, that is hurtful. I don't know how she's able to just go through it day by day. Them. No, how dog, you know, oh, you somebody text me. Ain't nobody, he didn't text me. No, nobody, he text me. When I was texting him last night, he said he's gonna call me from that number, from the number. And I know who the person is. Carlos getting on my nerves because when I asked him about the face, I was just like, yo, what's this? Like, he was just like, I want to talk about it right now. But it's only so much of that bull that you can hide behind. I'm very nervous and trying to be cautious with my words because you really don't know what this conversation might lead to. I feel like I'm trying to be accountable with you. I feel like I made a mistake. I really love it, though, you know, so I'm trying to give her the most sincere Empathetic apology I can give her. I'm trying to find that little bit of hope, but it's been so long and so much hasn't changed. I just don't believe it. Like, I don't. So last night, Soldier Boy and Nia got this. And that's not acceptable. We're going to have to talk with them and the whole group because this is not going to fly. Not going to fly. It's completely unacceptable. We know that Soldier and Nia have a history of explosive fighting. On the one hand, we've seen some real growth there. But on the other hand, it looks like the more things change, the more they stay the same. Eight days in, and they're showing their worst side yet. Both Soldier and Nia have experienced trauma in their past. When they argue, strong emotions trigger past traumatic violence, setting off a cyclical pattern of unacceptable behavior within their relationship. And there is never an excuse for a fight ever to turn physical. This is where we have to step in. We can see, really, their each individual traumas keep colliding into each other. They don't have a shared reality. He just had a physical altercation with her. And now he wants her to hug him. It's just where she is in the moment, but they can't communicate that to each other. Mm -hmm. Things are good, things are bad. We blow up, then things are good again. So he's trying to play the form, but sounds like she's ready to break that yep. cycle. Looks like it's time to divide and conquer. Yeah. I think these two are in desperate need of a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm in such a weird place. I don't even know. Because then it's like when he do start to, when he do have his good day and he start changing a little bit, like I really almost fall for it all the time. Like it's stressful, got my body breaking out in my eyes, like. I'm tired. He has no respect for me. Right. Like he'll change a little bit and then he'll step back up again and then he'll apologize and try and get it right again. I'm not about to be completely open again, like, because I was. And then you tore me down all the way. This is it. Like, we either fix it while we're in this house, and it's just, that's it. I'm going to go crazy I'm trying to fix this. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Hey, guys. Hi, Ma. Just so lady I want to see. Oh. Come with me. Coming. Soldier, let me grab you for a second. What happened? What was that about? We started going back and forth arguing, mm -hmm. and I went over there and I tried to grab her phone from mm -hmm. her hand because I felt like she wasn't listening. So I'm like, get mm -hmm. off the phone. I like, try to grab her phone. You can't do that. 
the behavior you show her scares the shit out of her. And it re-traumatizes her. I was raped when I lost my virginity. I was 15. Mm. I don't think till I got here, I actually realized that it affected me. You want to be the guy who shows up and hurts her like that? No. Because that's what you're doing. You realize that. Yeah. Then I just remember him getting up and like walking really fast towards me and then getting on the bed. So that's why I screamed because I didn't know what he was going to do. This is how he's been the last five years. It's just an up and down roller coaster thing. And it's like, it'll seem like he's changing for a day or two and then he'll revert right back mm -hmm. to his normal ways. Our relationship, it really is like a cycle. And it just keeps proving to me that nothing's going to change. I keep hearing you say he hasn't changed. But have you changed? I don't know if I've changed, but I've, I think I've learned things about myself as to why I have this wall up in certain situations that have nothing to really do with him, more so my childhood. But then I think our relationship, when it got to that point where it was bad, like, it made it 10 times worse. He traumatizes you and then it's all OK. That's what it sounds like. Coming up on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. What the f is this? He man, dying, that bitch. She had a heart before we came in here. Why did you make that choice? Cat. Stop doing stupid. They didn't woke up a monster. He traumatizes you, and then it's all okay. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. I try to kind of step back, but still be there for him at the same time, not realizing I was really just enabling him and allowing him to just hurt me in ways that I shouldn't allow. You continue to accept yeah. these traumatic events. Yeah. You know, I brought um, this with me. It's about rape trauma syndrome. Um, and that the phases that a person will go through, you're minimizing your pain, you didn't want to talk about it. I was raped when I lost my virginity. I was 15. I, I pushed it way, way to the back of my mind. I never even told my mom. So I wanted to give you this information. Nia, when you leave here, think about seeking out support. I think it is something I need to look into deeper, you know, and possibly talk to someone just to understand myself better. Because, you know, I didn't, I really didn't realize it until I got into this house. Like, she knew, she knew how to trigger me. Like, she knew how to press my buttons, you know what I'm saying? I can still accept my wrongs because I feel like sometimes she don't do it on purpose and I still get mad. But a lot of times, it's coming so close to that big, bad fear of yours, right? I don't want to be alone. I know I could be with a, a hundred different females, but I want to have one that's going to be there and have my back. She needs to feel safe. Do you think that when you do that, she feels safe? No. Nah. People are going to get burned out and they're going to get tired of waiting on you to change. Mm. So you got to find a different way. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. All right. All right, man. My man. All right. Do it. Try it. I got you. You'd be surprised how it works. You know, I'm just trying to learn as much as I can. I'm just taking the advice and like, becoming a better person. You know what I'm saying? It definitely is hope. It might take some time. I just, I don't know. I'm in a I don't know state of mind right now. All right? Just relaxing. You good, baby? Mm hmm. I'm keeping my cool. I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm just gonna be calm. Yeah. Hopefully, it helped me out with my relationship, you know? If we don't figure it out this time, like, I'm done. I have no more hope for us. I have no doom. She seemed to be doing fine. Um, like, but I don't see how she so, like, it's like it ain't never happened. She probably don't want to turn up in here because there's all these cameras and shit around. I ain't that disciplined. It's going the down. Yes. <laughs> like, a FaceTime, it was too much for me. You can't keep playing. Don't that play. That don't leave you, man. For real. That's little Moby. What are you doing? I just feel by myself here. Like, I don't feel like... Has he ever told you he love you? Once. Once? One time. But he never said, yo, I am in love with you. No, he's never said that. And y'all together for a year? Mm-hmm. He's like a cool guy. 
and she's a nice girl, but they just, I don't know, something is just real off. So what makes you stay? Seeing the way that he is with his son, mm -hmm. you don't see a lot of men like that. Mm -hmm. And that's just a great quality, like, in my eyes. But just eyes. knowing, once we did that, that, ex, that drill, where he said the first time he got to speak to his dad, he was 13 years old. When I was 13, I met my dad for the first time over the phone. It was kind of just different from what I envisioned he would be like. I don't think he said, I love you, like nothing. So he had to build this wall. That 13 years old? That's crazy. So what's I that, feel like years ago? If you care for me and all of that, I just asked you yesterday. I still couldn't get that story. What? Huh? So I don't know what y'all talking about. This damn Kool-Aid. This Kool-Aid is made with love. <laughs> I don't know what y'all talking about. You ready to get about this bitch, bro? <laughs> oh, on some real I don't mind it. A lot of times, me and Mo, we don't have time to ourselves. It's just right. us. If we, right. we even going to sleep, we one of the kids is in the bed with us or like that. I feel what you're saying, bro. I mean, because the only time we so get this that, time we sit is down. like y'all get to spend time with each other, and like away from everything. Like, like, yeah, basically talk to each other more. Like, I mean, find different ways of communication instead of always assuming. I want to say communication is something we're still struggling with, but a lot of situations me and Mo talk about, we don't have no closure to none of it. Y'all, I'm feeling like I'm in prison. I ain't even know. Me. Word. I'm ready to get the f on. Y'all ain't getting no bonds. My sex life with Tiffany no longer exists. <laughs> um, you know, it's been a while. But you ain't got none, though, the whole time you been here? Not yeah. nothing? Listen to me, bruh. Oh, it's, it's bad. Knows some you know, maybe she has another man because there is no sex going on in the bedroom. You gotta let that out, man. I can't relate to that one. <laughs> Damn. I gotta make a song about this first day out. <laughs> All couples, come to the boot camp room. Hi, guys. Come on yeah. in. Shot, 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 shot. Find the barrel and shot, mm -hmm. shot. Settle in. Shot, shot. Looks like we're gonna have fun today. We had an exhausting day yesterday, so. They must be taking it easy on us and letting us have fun and make drinks and drinks today. So y'all about to make me drink. I feel like we about to like... Go squish grapes or something. I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's definitely some alcohol involved. Day eight. This is the round of time where Dr. V and I start to get a little anxious about some of you. This is the final countdown, so to speak. Three days until you decide the fate of your relationships and possibly change the course of your life forever. So some questions. Are you giving it your absolute all? Are you truly open to change? Will you leave here as one? Or will you leave here all by yourself? For some, alone might be the wiser choice. Relationships can be a volatile cocktail. It takes the perfect balance of sweet, sour, tart, and bitter to make it all work for you. Today, you all are going to be amateur mixologists. It's going to be lit. The drink menus are up on the board, and the ingredients are on the bar. It's something else besides making drinks. Ain't none of our drills been this damn easy. Something's up. Each couple will pick one drink. Come up and collect your ingredients. That's I used to be a mixologist. Oh, really? Yeah, for two okay. weeks. <laughs> two whole weeks. I have a bartender license. Even though I never used it, I still got the skills. See what you I don't know, but I do can make a better mix I to feel make like the night go. Too easy. Where's the honey? So gather up all your ingredients, guys, and then return to your table. But there's no honey up here. There's no honey? Yeah, where's the honey at? I put that honey. We don't want oh, it. That's ours. There is no honey. We are missing one vital ingredient. One missing ingredient will throw that delicate cocktail off balance. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Follow us. Oh, man. Why are we going outside? Like, off top. I'm already nervous. Come on down. Yo, y'all crazy. I don't do this. 
Damn, bruh. Oh my Man. God. Like, what the f is this? <sighs> you could die in that gym. Coming up on Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition. The first drill of the day is a challenging one. Oh! <laughs> they smell fit. Oh my God. Y'all tripping. Why did you make that choice? I'm just the ultimate. What? Oh! I ain't leave nobody on. They didn't woke up a monster. Come on down. I don't do this. Oh my God. Damn, bruh. They're all in there. Oh my God. I don't want nothing to do with no B. No sir. Like, what the f is this? Okay, this is some real f right here. Are you going to die in that bitch? Oh. One of you will retrieve the honey. The other will add it to your cocktail. Soldier and Nia, step forward. You're up first. Everyone else, have a seat on the deck. I have never been stung by a bee, and I never want to be stung by a bee. The hot. Bee's going to be all agitated by the time they get in. I Soldier boy and Nia. The person retrieving the honey is Soldier Boy. Damn. I was not trying to go in there with those bees. I was not doing, oh my god. <laughs> Hell no. I feel like I'm going to go to the moon. See how much I love you. Mm. I ain't never did nothing like this in my life. It's my chance to step up to the plate, you know? You know, I'm scared. It's, it's game time. I'm ready. Focus. <laughs> These bees. All right. Want to see this jar filled up with honey? OK. The hive is there. You collect your honey. Come on out. OK. Oh, my god. I'm itching just looking at this <laughs> Any last words? I, I love you. <laughs> he was being so nice. We do have those moments where we'll be good for a couple days or a day. And then, you know, he'll, he'll take these steps forward like he's trying to change. Go ahead and. They smell fair, Dre. He's sneaking in there. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, soldier. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Them bees can fill with you. Panicking, you scared. And if you in fear, they feel like you attack them. Yeah, Good. Man, Come on out. <laughs> that was scary as I just, I wouldn't have been able you to. You could have did it. I don't know. I got faith in you. Good job. Honey for your cocktail. Mm-hmm. You go, babe. <laughs> Brought the baby back to my baby, you know? Thank you very much. <laughs> Y'all make me do that. You did it, though. Didn't kill you. You can take a seat. It was crazy. Like, I would never, ever did that in my life. That was a once-in-a-lifetime thing. And that was all because of this one person. I thought they sent you in because I feel like I got to walk on eggshells sometimes in our relationship so you can understand how I feel sometimes. I don't think I ever would have known he was FaceTiming had he not got caught. All right, this is what we're going to do. We got to at least make lip contact 100 times a day. Oh, my gosh. But he always goes overboard. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, Carl, like, come on, man. Like, but that's his way, I guess, of saying he know he did something wrong. Dynamite, you're married. You can't play those games no more. Jessica and Sean, you're up next. Jessica, look in your eyes when you look at those bees. <laughs> like you are just not here for that. No. Whoa. <laughs> no, I'm terrified. The person retrieving the honey is? <laughs> it's not me, is it? Jessica. Oh! That's good. Come on, baby. Come no. on. No! This is most definitely the scariest drill so far. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking forward to doing this, but I'm ready. I'm ready, too. The person retrieving the honey is Carl. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm glad that he's doing it. I don't play with bees. I don't play with bugs. I don't play with anything that flies or crawls. Tammy. <laughs> we scared of like this. Even if I'm scared, when it comes to my family and it comes to we know you my, you, I'm going to do what the yeah. I got to do. Ooh, it's cool. as simple as that. You yeah. coming with me or no? No. There's another suit right there. Go in there. All right, he's in. 
Yo, I'm dying right now. Mm. Anything physical that needs to be done in our marriage, I always handle it. Come on, Tammy. Ooh, Jesus. All right, Jessica, go for it. I swear to God, I just knew one of them was in my ear. I was like, oh my God. So I, my mind kept saying it's in your ear, but then my reality was like, nah, that's some bull. Ooh, I hit my face. Gentle, gentle. They can smell fair, Carl. Like, I don't want to see Carl get hurt. Like, sometimes I be want to punch his face in. Or I want to punch his head off, but I don't want him to die. Woo. Nice and easy. Great job. Woo. Well, Jessica, how was that? It was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> All right, give Mo the honey. Thank you. You kiss. Hold on, because I don't know who mouth is. Ah. Scary. Yeah? You see this, Walker? I brought back the honey for my family. Hey, let me ask y'all a real question. Following me. In a relationship, which I'd rather have, intimacy or money? I'd rather not have a relationship and just have money. <laughs> OK, last but not least, oh, Little Fizz and Tiffany, come on down. Are y'all ready? No, I'm not ready. <laughs> the person retrieving the honey is. Mm. He's definitely getting this oh honey my. because he needs to open up, you know? I'm just like, yeah, this is, you know, this is something else to break down, another layer to get through. You'll be all right. Like, I'm here to support you. The person retrieving the honey is Tiffany. Mm. <laughs> Oh. Not happening. Any type of bug, I don't do it. Time to suit up, Tiffany. What's going through your mind right now? Oh, my god. My anxiety is pumping. There is nothing good about this. What I want to do is run the f out. Just breathe. Oh, my god. Jeff. Coming up on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. She had a came Who does that? Stop doing stupid just the dick. I ain't leave nobody on. This is making me elevate past the level of like being in a relationship. Like, I went into a, a cage full of bees for this girl. I feel like it kind of represented our relationship, him going in there with the bees, and it was just like the unknown, like he could possibly get stung. And I kind of feel like that's how I feel sometimes. Like, I don't know when he's going to, like, snap on me. Little Fizz and Tiffany, the person retrieving the honey is Tiffany. Mm. Ooh. Time to suit up, Tiffany. Oh, my god. My anxiety is pumping. There is nothing good about this. What I want to do is run the f out. Just breathe. Oh, my god. Tiff, Tiff, <laughs> you've been through worse. Remember that. I honestly kind of really wanted to go in, because I was like, man, I never would picture I would do something like this. So I kind of wanted to get the experience. You ain't, ain't got to go in on. there. It ain't that bad. Man, that. Let her go in. Get this drill in real quick. Just got real. I hate bees, and you know. Zip that front up. There you go. I always knew, you know, bees could kill you. So even though I had on the suit, I was scared of. <sighs> These some big ass furry bees. Like they look like tarantula bees. <sighs> They got fur all over their bodies, and they're just like Yo, not flying. Right no, because right I'm in there, you're not in there, I'm in there. At this point, I just I want it to be done and over with. No. <laughs> all right. All right. How was that? Horrible. I don't like bugs. I don't like cold spaces. I don't like not being able to get out. I don't like this suit. So here you go. That was the hardest part of his day. That was sweet, wasn't it? It was intense, but you got to not keep panic. Calm, yeah. You know what I mean, you got to keep your composure. All right, Carl, I'm going to remember you said that. Mm. Hello? What was that like for you guys watching your partner go in? It made me horny. 
Everything makes you money. <laughs> Even me watching my wife, like, just watching her do it, I was like, damn. She did it like she wasn't even scared. That was kind of sexy. Take your honey, go make your cocktails, and we'll see you in a bit. Everybody got sent up to make a drink. Oh, you, that's your drink. Three-fourths a cup. This is three-fourths <laughs> of a cup. You put all the honey in there? I got this new drink called the Fizzolini. You might want to go try. You can go on the uh, WeTV.com website, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and go that get recipe. that new fizzy, Fizzolini. Woo! I'm going to go get a knife so I can cut it up. Okay. I'm really trying to win her back, you know? I messed up a couple times, overreacted. So get some cool points. And I want my girl to be happy, so. Oh, that's nice and sweet. She was crying earlier at the beat with the beans. Teeth ain't so extra. <laughs> she be capping. Capping, cap, cap. Capping, cap. <laughs> the captain, capper. Like, I know that be getting all Jew nerves. That's why he be walking away and smoking his weed. You know how sick she had on before we came in here. <laughs> Tiffany, she tells you stuff, but she doesn't give away all the goodies. No. Yeah. They're hiding something from each other or hiding something from everyone else. Who does that? That's sad. What's wrong with them? All couples report to the boot camp room. Come on in. Well, today wasn't about bees or honey or cocktails. None of that. It was about sacrifice, about putting your partner before yourself. This morning, Solja, Tammy, Jessica, Mo, and Lil Fizz were given a letter. The first drill of the day is a challenging one. Only one of you will participate. You and you alone have a decision to make. You must decide which of you will partake in the drill. You or your partner. Soldier Boy, Jessica, and Tammy. I'll partake in the drill. I'll do it. I'll take it. You chose to sacrifice yourselves. What? I wasn't going to tell you because I took that sacrifice for you. You don't need to know what I what I do for you. You just know that I got you. <laughs> I don't want to know. I'm just saying, don't worry about it. I got you, baby. All right, cool. All right, it's my baby. I expect Jessica to sacrifice her life, you know, for me. That's just her character. And I feel like it was no thinking or nothing when the opportunity presented itself to her. Not a thought. Little Mo and Fizz. Because of the way be going, I'm going to make my husband take the challenge because I know it's some scary that be going down. I think Tiffany should partake in the drill. You chose Carl and Tiffany to go in there. Tiffany and Carl, you two actually didn't have to go into the beehive. What the Dang, just throw me under the bus. Throw you into the beans. <laughs> right? It never said what Yush, type of drill it was going to be. Yush, it doesn't matter. You should always have been pretty be like, fun. I'll take that The drills no. have always been fun. I'm pissed. Coming up on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. You would rather protect your image to everybody else and hurt her? Stop doing stupid I got something for you right now. What? Oh. They didn't woke up a monster. Tiffany and Carl, you two actually didn't have to go into the beehive. Little Mo and Fizz. You chose Carl and Tiffany to go in there. I want to punch him in his face. Like, real life. I want to punch the out of him. I knew at some point, you know, it was going to come out that I sent her into the beehive. The doctor's coming out snitching on me. Don't make it no better. Mo, given what we know that's been going on in the house with the two of you, was just a little piece of you kind of like, I'm not doing this You're going to do I'm pretty this. sure it yep. was. <laughs> For real. <laughs> For real. In the situation we was in, I wouldn't have wanted her to go in there. Tiffany, you feel the same way? 
I mean, if I didn't have to go, I, that would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Uh, he is a dirty doll. He done sent this girl up the river. Lord. I want surprise. I want surprise either. What are you feeling, Tiffany? Like I've been feeling past couple days alone. What does it say to you that's the choice he made? He gonna protect himself and make sure he good. To know that he wanted to save himself to throw me under, that's up. It's callous. Drew, why did you make that choice? Because we've been doing like little stupid fun drills. I was like, oh, let her do a drill. Like, it ain't no big thing. Well, we did say challenging. All the drills have been pretty harmless. This was a diagnostic tool. So you could see where your relationship stands. Yeah, OK. Cat, sacrifice can't be one-sided. You both got to be there for each other when the times get rough. I like what I saw from you today, Tammy, and you, Jessica, because you both stepped up and made the sacrifice. But you have two domineering men who you're with. And so what I would caution you is, if you feel like you have to sacrifice a part of who you are in order just to feel secure in your relationship. That's reverse psychology, man. At some point, that man, relationship goes from relationship to hostage situation because you're holding your true self hostage and you don't ever want to do that. Naturally, I just take care of everybody else before I take care of myself. So it's a lot for me to try to work on, but it's very important to make sure I'm happy before I can make other people happy. You made that to the sacrifice? Yeah. <laughs> so just be mindful of that. Now, you think you've been tested enough today? Divorce courts, Judge Lynn Toller will be the judge of that. Judge? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. It's always scary when she walks in the room. I saw you out there with them bees, and I got to say I was impressed. Thank you. Any woman and any man can lose themselves in the context of a relationship. What you have to watch out for, making sure that everybody gets heard when they need to get heard. Drew, he didn't sacrifice, but maybe that's some truth telling going on. Tiffany, you need to know when to take a victory lap. When you did the bees today, you were scared to death. And you did it. That's a victory. Women aren't good at that. Men are. They, you know, they love it. But we don't gravitate to it. And we miss a whole lot of joy just going from one problem to the next. Yep. And Drew, you know how she feels. And you know how you feel. Never do anything that can be confused as something else. Sometimes people ain't ready for friendship. I just, I feel like I come across differently. If I rub her back, it don't mean that I want you. It just means, OK, your back might be hurting. But that's to you. But I, what I'm trying to tell you is how she misinterprets that. It doesn't matter how you mean it. I'm telling you what a woman gets out of it. You have to stop doing things that could possibly be misinterpreted. Not because you're coming, not coming from a good place, but, but then I because feel like when I do her. that, I'm just the ultimate ass. You would rather protect your image to everybody else and hurt her? Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. That boy don't give a I'm not even surprised. Tiffany, I just want to tell you, you deserve unconditional love. Thank you. Can I say something? Oh, my God. Oh, yes, yes, go right ahead. <laughs> I got to do something. I got to change something. Since we came in here, we started smoothing things out, getting a little better. But then I threw a glitch in the system. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I threw a glitch in the system, which basically Messed everything up. The way I felt when those things happened, it was like, you know, it was the worst feeling in the world. I'm sorry, I apologize to you for any hurt, recklessness, or whatever you want to call it, that I've caused you since we ever been together. Uh -huh. And you know that I'm rocking out with you whenever, forever, whatever. She needed that, Carl. She really, really needed that. Carl, you capping. <laughs> <laughs> capping, cap, capping Carl, you are one smart dude. Stop doing stupid Yes, Dr. V. Right now, I don't know if he's being honest with me. It's just so sad that he keeps on getting caught. You know what pisses me off? It's the level that he stoops to. But that's the level he knows. 
If you apologize and continue to sin, it don't count. Go home and be man enough to own everything you do, but also not to do those things you don't want to own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who did not go in with the bees? Raise your hand. All right. If you didn't go with the bees, I got something for you right now. No bees. No bees. No bees. No bees. No bees. Foot rub. Ah! Y'all have a good night. You guys have a good night. We can have a great night. Rub my pinky toe, rub my big toe, rub between my toes. I'm rubbing my own feet. He I got ain't some rubbing lotion. Nothing on me. Nothing on me. He not rubbing nothing. Toes again. Yeah. Feet. What rub tonight? Where you going? I've been walking. <laughs> I don't touch feet. I've been walking on these things all day. I just need my pinky toe. Ew. Today is started off rough, but we finished in a positive way. You gotta go through hell to get to heaven, you know what I'm saying? I can get used to this treatment. Ooh, ooh, yeah. You, know, you did have a hard day. Oh my God. Uh, I can stop or no? Yeah. Sheesh. I gotta go sanitize my hand. Judge be on one, bruh. She said you can save your image or you can be honest. But I've been around here trying to be one way so I don't look like I'm just a dick. I ain't leave nobody on. They didn't woke up a monster. What I realized from the judge, even if I'm just being, you know, genuine, I gotta kind of be cautious of it. Because, you know, women could take just the slightest little thing as it meaning something more than what it is. But like you said, be giving the clues like, oh, cool on <laughs> She get mad because she don't give a f about the clue. Why? She want a relationship. No, she want a rapper. She don't want a relationship. She want a rapper. I f that up, though. Real talk. That's what it is. I'm realizing I'm broken. I'm empty inside. I'm missing something. That's something that I have to fix. Next on Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition. They are lie detectors. Can you commit? Have you cheated? Are you lying? Did you lie to Mo? Deception was indicated. This is my real life. This all I got. I got options. Go we'll pick up some new options tonight. And then they'll take girls back to the crib. Hell yeah. You ain't got time to be sad. We can't be together. Like for real.